Hello, today I'm going to do a training on Ginger software. This is a great tool that can benefit individuals with learning disabilities. Specifically, this is a great tool for individuals struggling with writing. The difficulties individuals face with writing generally are with spelling, grammar, punctuation, phrasing of sentences, and other similar challenges. This tool will address these challenges. In addition, <clears throat> in addition, it has the following features such as translation, dictionary, and a personal trainer. This tool works on Windows iOS, uh, Windows, iOS, Android, and other devices. One thing to keep in mind regarding this tool is that it only works when one is connected to the internet. This is something to keep in mind for students and professionals. This tool can be tried um, by downloading it. However, only partial features work. Uh, this is for the unpaid or the free version. <clears throat> I will now begin to demo the tool. Let me go ahead and power it on. As you can notice, once I activate it, you'll see a little G in the top middle of the screen. This tells us that this tool will work with Microsoft Word. In addition, it works with Outlook, PowerPoint, Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Internet Explorer, and Gmail. <clears throat> the best way I found this program to work is to use it once the paper, email, or the homework is actually written out. I have actually found it to be a bit more annoying when using this program when typing. So, I will go ahead and start. The way this program works is it goes through my sentences one by one. Then it suggests necessary changes. And so the way it starts is when I press the G. So there are two options as you can see. One, this is the original sentence, location colon the client's residence. Either I can skip this because I feel that this is correct, the way I have written it out is correct. And so I can skip it. Or the second suggestion is I approve the change and it skips out on the dots. Okay, I want to show you something else, so I'm going to go ahead and continue. So again, if I press the letter G, then it goes to my sentences one by one. Then it suggests the necessary changes. There are two options. The one that reads the sentence and one I can read the sentence and I can just say this is a correct and I can click on skip. Um, or I can approve the change as it's suggesting here. Um, <clears throat> the suggestion that is highlighted in orange and this is orange which is what I have blue and underline is the suggestion that is is suggesting the change. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this. Now if you hover the, over the G and click on the rephrase or the feather button 
then not only does it suggest what I just showed, but another line that suggests a rephrasing, a rephrased statement. I have not always found this to be helpful as the words that it tends to suggest don't fit the industry that I write uh, reports for, um, but let me demonstrate it. So this is the original, this is a suggested change, and then this is how they are suggesting that we should rephrase this. So again, it doesn't fit with the industry that I'm part of because generally we refer to our customers as clients or members. There are other features that are good, however for me the two that I just showed are the most useful. When I hover and you see the marker or the right button is the same as pressing the G. The whistle or the button that says personal trainer, when one clicks on that, it takes you to their uh, website and there are videos about various subjects that can help one improve their writing. So here you'll find videos on spacing, propositions, commas, but these are different videos that it teaches an individual how to improve their writing skills. I think individuals who have difficulties with writing, this is a great tool to have a second pair of eyes to check the work. I generally write reports and it takes me over two hours in doing these reports and then when I'm doing my recommendations, you know, I talk about the product benefit and going back and forth, I generally tend to um, always look over certain difficulties or problems that are the way that I have written it. To have this program go through it, it really helps because it identifies things that I've overlooked. So again, a great tool um, for someone to uh, have a second pair of eyes to check the work. The website for this product is www.gingersoftware.com and let me share with you the price structure. So the price for this tool is $5.10 yearly for basic version and $9.25 for premium version. This price holds true if you pay for the year upfront. If you pay monthly, the price is $8.30 for the basic version and $14.60 for the premium version. These are some of the differences in the basic uh, version and the premium version. If you're a student, then the, the price is $4.10 for the basic version and $7.40 for the premium version if one pays up front for the year. If one pays month to month, the basic version is $7.90 and $13.90 for the premium version. Um, hope you found this video to be useful. Um, if you want more training um, or any assistive technology products, please uh, go ahead and contact me. Um, I am available to make such videos. I am learning how to do this. I'm using different programs and different software to record the screen and my voice. And if there's any feedback on how to improve that, I'm always open for that. Uh, this is the final project for ATHS class um, so I'm kind of two in one here but again if you have any questions please contact us 
Again, this was a training video for how to use Ginger software um, with Word. And it is also available to use with different programs as I mentioned earlier. Again, thank you very much. And if you have any questions, please do contact me.